Hey, 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 what's up? It's your girl, Kiki Palmer, a.k.a. Kiki Kizzle. Hey, this is Eric Hill. And you're watching The Chris Campbell TV. Thanks, man. All right, guys, it's your boy Chris Campbell. You're tuning in to The Chris Campbell TV. Today we are at Jackson State. I have my wife and my brother-in-law with me. Y'all already know who it is, all right? It's Kiki Palmer and Eric Hill Jr. How's it himself. going? Bro? How's it going, you all? Oh, my gosh, so good. So good to be with you. Uh, Great energy. I'm so excited. You guys had the kids with Jackson State, like, completely turned. It was crazy. We just got done with the meet and greet. Tonight we're going to go see the screening at Tinseltown tonight. You guys excited? Very oh, excited because yeah. you guys have such great energy. I feel like they're going to enjoy the movie. They're going to enjoy So yesterday, um, you guys were at Southern University. Yes. Yes. I know Jackson State was way better. But um, <laughs> so you're doing an entire tour for it, right? Yes, we are. Yes. We're doing a whole college tour because that's really the, these are the people that we want to see the film because this is the people that the movie is about. Right. And so we're just doing everything we can to make sure we, you know, get out there and let them know about it. All right. So I saw the trailer on Fandigo.com. Um, they did the trailer. Yes. It's dope. Thank I really you. like it. Thank you. you guys did Appreciate your thing. It. You hoop in, you know. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You know, I do a little hoop too. Catch a tail. <laughs> okay, maybe not, but whatever. But. Queen Latifah um, produced the movie. Yes. What was it like working with Queen Latifah? Well, I've worked with Queen Latifah since I, I've known her since I was like nine. I did Barbershop 2 with her, and then Ice Age and Drew for Noise. And though she wasn't on set with us, just the fact that she put this film together, mm. I think, is what really makes us all feel like, you know, it just speaks volumes about who she is because she's right. somebody we've all grown up with, and the fact that she's giving back to us and allowing us to uh, branch out in the way that we do in Brotherly Love. It's you know, unbelievable. Yeah, she's a legend. Like the, uh, the wildest part about it is she's an artist. You know, where she's put herself to be right now. As a fellow artist, you can't help but respect it. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, to be able to be on a platform where you're able to make sure that people see this project. It's just an honor to be able to say that at some point in my life I was connected with that powerful right. energy. Yeah. Well, it's amazing, man. We definitely love the trailer. Uh, last thing, I see you guys growing up. You know, from Akila to B, we just Kiki. You know, you coming on up, man. Y'all doing your things. And I definitely, you're ins inspiring to me as well. But just, in, like, I'm big on branding. So how important is it to brand? I know we put Lauren Palmer up on Instagram. Yeah. We, you know, we're going into some different things. Yeah. How important is that? And what has the journey been like through you all's uh, careers? Um, the journey has been exciting and crazy. Like you said, you always jump from wanting different things. And how can I, you know, make this act accessible to the people that are, you know, like my work or, you know, how can I show this part of myself? And so with social media, it does allow people to see another aspect of me, which is why, you know, you said the Lauren Palmer. Right. I want people to also see a personal side of me. And then at the same time, my work and stuff like that, that's the more professional side. Uh, but I think for me, I always want to make sure the message is clear that it's always positivity. And that's what I'll, positivity. And then also I'm very very much so wanting to give my generation a platform to let them earn. And that's where Just Kiki came from. And now I'm also writing my book. And that's definitely where my career is headed, is as much service as I can give. Right. Yeah, I mean, the wild part about it is that the way that my, well, the way my career has progressed is all through the social media era. So in terms of branding, it's really just a question of making sure that who you are is represented in your social media. And it's just a question of making sure that you are very comfortable with what's being out there because people are only going to see what you post. So just make sure that what you're posting, well, can't speak for other people. What I try to do is make sure what I'm posting represents me in a way where it doesn't really lead too much room for you to be able to say something yeah. else. It, it's just enough for you to understand that this is who I am. So if grandma don't like it, don't post it. Exactly. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you care about what grandma said. <laughs> don't, don't, don't post it. Okay, well, before we go, um, I have some things, y'all, and I... I, I I couldn't leave here today without interviewing all and doing this. Like, I am the president of the Jack State Chapter of National Association of Black Journalists. Our students are doing so much in the mass comm department. Um, I had an interview um, with a guy named King Rollo on last week. And this guy is a beast when it comes to rag, man. He hit me up all last night and said, hey, you know what, man? I just need a favor. That's it. Just do it. So I'm about to do it. Okay. This is his mixtape. Oh okay. Complete royalty. And I told him I would not leave here today without putting it in you all's hands. He really wants you all to do Thank you, brother. Because one thing that I'm trying to do is listen to more music. And the, my boys are always telling me about people who no one knows about rap. Yay. You know what I mean? So, I mean, this is awesome. Please. I'm definitely check this out. Check Tell it out. I said thank you. And lastly, one of our very own members, um, Michaela Harris. She's a self-published author. She just released it. Michaela yeah. Harris. The name of that um, book is that Liberation, the 20-year journey it took to heal my soul. <laughs> no, but and that's I'm sorry. Girl. You, you, come on in. You got to get on. I just, I just wanted to make sure I'm, I got contact. Yeah, no, that's an amazing Chief thing. Chief of It's all right. It's an all brotherly love. We all That was a great catch. <laughs> it was a great catch. Wow. This is awesome. <laughs> She's trying this to get up here. Awesome. Take, take it real fast, all of us. There you go. Hey, 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 what's up? It's your girl.
girl Kiki Palmer, aka Kiki Kizzle. Hey, this is Eric Hill. And you're watching the Chris Campbell TV. Thanks, man.